Oh, that better not be my mother again. Ball line is in. I thought you might want to take a look at it while you're in town. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind taking a look myself. <laughs> I'll go. No. <laughs> no, no. You guys need to do this. I'll have you all to myself soon enough. <laughs> Did you guys finally set a date? Are you free May 9th? Really? Uh huh. Oh my god! <laughs> That's the best news ever. You got fired from BE already. No. Vicky and I are just helping Carlotta out. Oh. <laughs> For she. Oh, he's sleeping. Michael's with him. I hate to keep him posing. Michael will call me as soon as he wakes up. Really? Right? Right. Definitely. So come on, tell me. How is the big second day on the job? Mm, you know. Make copies, answer emails, fax a bunch of stuff, build coffee, kiss the boss. <laughs> All on a day's work, I guess. Oh, you're not kidding. Oh, my God, you're not kidding? You kissed Clint Buchanan? Their times must be topped at the banner. Oh, yes. Had to sell it. What a shame, huh? But fortunately, Carlotta gave me a job. And now I've got these two great tippers at my table. Lucky girl am I. Mr. Mayor, am I here? Thank you. You don't get it, do you? It wasn't an accident. Look, your mother told me. Oh, Mom! Yes. Mom was scared to death because you walked out on her. And someone else took your place. And then she did and said whatever he told her to. And so you're telling me that she lied? She had to. He beat her. He beat all of us. Oh, my God. I didn't know. I didn't care. All you cared about was where your next bottle was coming from. Start it down here! Yeah, I thought I told you and McBain to keep Cole away from my daughter. Hello to you too, Todd. If you can't control your ward of the court, I will. If you can't control your compulsion to threaten me, I'll sue. What do you want? Star was at Mars and McBain's today, probably arranging a meeting with Cole. Right? I don't know. You should ask Star and spare me any more of your paranoid rants. If Cole so much as I am Star. Goodbye, Todd. Was that you yelling? Star, get your butt down here! What is wrong? First, I found Ramsey at the penthouse. Yeah? He's purchased it. Secondly, <laughs> I found out Star was at Marcy McBain's along with John McBain. What? Yeah, and I know exactly what they were up to. You don't know anything. You know, there's not much point in going to group if you're not going to say anything. What's the point? Oh, you need to talk. I mean, maybe it'd be easier if I wasn't there. Now, listen. All of us at group, we have one horrible thing in common, right? Now, Star and I, we have a totally different horrible thing in common. So, Star's the only one I want to talk to about this. And even if she wanted to see me, I can't. Yeah, you can. I know how to make it happen. isn't enough time to plan. Actually, we were planning to elope, but then Rex talked me into May. 
So she can have the wedding of her dreams. So we can have the wedding of our dreams. Which is totally doable in two months. <laughs> which is why we should be talking dresses ASAP. Yes, 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 yes. All right, I know you guys have work to do, and I really should get some of this stuff done. Mm -hmm. I'll get out of your hair. <laughs> I'll call you when we're finished. Great. Love you. Love you, too. Bye. Why are you in such a hurry to get rid of them? Do you have to show me your wedding dress pictures or something? No. I want to talk about Gigi Marasco. Do not kiss Clint Buchanan. Bob. No! Natalie. It was Jared. Oh, Jared. The new Buchanan. Look at you. He's not exactly a new Buchanan. He just didn't know he was one until recently. And? Yeah, I was never forget it. Keep it to ourselves. Me and my big mouth. Well, I'm not going to tell anybody. I mean, obviously, it wasn't forgettable. It didn't mean anything. I was just upset, and he was there, and I barely even know him. Mm -hmm, and you'd like to get to know him better, He's wouldn't my you? boss, Marcy. And? I must say, Vicky, you really uh, zip those zingers out almost as well as you clean the old hash. How do you think Carlotta would feel if she knew that you were demeaning her very honorable profession? I, I don't think Dr. Lord intended that. Did you? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> but I do seem to have hit a sore spot. Oh, now, Dorian, you'd have to dig a lot deeper than that. So, you're going to eat or gloat? Because I have customers. I'll have the special. Good. Just some black coffee for me. Thank you. You are hardly one to frequent diners, Dorian. If you moved our meeting from the palace to this joint with the intent of humiliating Vicky, I'd say it backfired, wouldn't you? If you really want to hurt Vicky so badly, why don't you just get it over with? Just tell her what Jared and I have done to her family. No, Vicky's right. There are lots worse things than waitressing. Much worse. All right, come on. You think our daughter's going to set up a little secret room? I'm asking her the Nicole, question. With John and I Marcy there? You, if you didn't stay away from him, I was going to send him to jail. Well, I'll make him bear my promise. Dad, don't. Okay, you can't. Okay, stop, you two. Stop. Star, you want to explain what you were doing over there at Marcy's? And I know that you like Mrs. McBain. She was one of your favorite teachers, and you babysit for her. But can you just tell us what was going on? I'm calling the car. Dad, don't. Dad, please stop it. I'll tell you the truth, okay? You want to hear it? I didn't go over to Mrs. McBain's for Cole, all right? I went there because of Sam. Sam? Yeah. I wanted her to take him away from you. Because Marcy should be the one to raise Sam. Not you. So, I come home from Paris to surprise Rex, and... Guess who I find here? Gigi? None other. Well, maybe they were just working? Yeah, that's what Rex said. And I believe him. Then what's the problem? When I walked in, Gigi was crying and telling Rex that she was so sorry. For what? He's got me. Rex had his headphones on. He was completely oblivious to the whole thing. Well, did you talk to Rex about it? No, because then my mother showed up. And then I showed up. And I don't want to sound like a jealous fiancé. I know, I am one. Not that you have any reason to be. But you need to find out what in the world is Gigi so sorry about. I hear, uh, Charlie was a beast. Yeah, he's interviewing for the contracting job. You didn't pull any strings for that, did you? He got that interview on his own merits. I mean, if he wasn't qualified, he wouldn't even have gotten in the door. Good. Okay. And I'm sure that it will go very well because Charlie has a way with people. I'll be right back with your refill. I assume you wanted to meet with me for some reason other than to watch Vicki Davis and White Tables? I need to find out why our project has stalled. It's not at all. 
Attempt number two is in progress as we speak. What happened the first time? Factors beyond my control. You know, I invested a great deal of money in this endeavor under the premise that you were completely in control. Perhaps if you could tell me what it is you hope to gain in the end. You don't need to know. You just need to get results. Okay, you're right. I, I was a drunk and alcohol was all that I, I thought about. But I swear to God, if I had any idea that this was happening, that, that that's what he was God. doing to you and Jimmy. No, what I'm saying is... It was me, Jerry. I'm to blame. It's not what? your fault. What happened to Jimmy? Stop! No, please. You... You were just a kid. And you were a good kid. And you didn't do anything wrong. Yes, I did! I did everything wrong. I was his big brother. I should have protected him. So how are we going to break that up? We're not. We're going to bring Cole to her. Tonight. We know that you don't think Sam belongs over at the McVeigh's. Uh, yes, I do. It's bad enough you wrecked my life, you're not going to do it to my little brother. All right, what'd you say to Marcy? I told her the truth. I said that he would be miserable growing up here, that you hurt people, and that Marcy's the only one who can save him. Okay, and you just happened to say this all oh, when John McVeigh was there? You had to tell Marcy that? Well, Mrs. McVeigh got upset, and then she called him. After I told her, well, after what? After look, I mean, she just started to ask me a lot of questions. And what exactly did you tell her, Star? Marcy asked me if you hit Sam, and I said yes. Yeah, maybe, maybe it was nothing. Maybe she was just crying because she felt sad. <laughs> yeah, right. Look, why don't you go talk to her? Just get it out in the open. Yeah, like when I asked her about Shane and she was so wonderfully honest and straightforward. You don't still think Gigi might be lying about Shane being Rex's son? No. Look, even if Rex isn't Shane's father, Gigi seems more than happy to let him get really, really close to the kid. You know, buying him gifts and playing stupid video games. And, ugh. Tell me I'm crazy and I'm being a nervous bride. Jean-Pierre. Now what? What? What's sitting? No, look, my partner Layla can be there. Okay, look, we've got it covered. Stop worrying. Goodbye. What, he doesn't want me to come in your place? No, it's not that. I, I don't understand how everything suddenly got moved up to May. I mean, it, it's like he's deliberately trying to ruin my wedding. He doesn't even know about your wedding, does he? It's not even like you sent out the stage dates for May 9th. No, I, I didn't tell anyone... Or another. There you go, big spender. Black coffee. And ah, Mr. Mayor, for you, ropa vieja. You do realize that means old clothes. Well, it may not sound appetizing, but it smells delicioso. Here, make you sips for you. Oh, thanks, Jesus. Oh, hey, Gigi. Do you think I should order Shane's ice cream now? Because I, I think he's probably going to wake up soon. Well, you said Michael would call when he does. Yeah, that's true. Shane's asleep? Oh, he's sick. He's sick. Asthma again? That's not cool. Okay. He's, he's doing much better. Oh, you know, he's a sweetheart. I mean, he hardly ever complains. Great kid. Yeah. I think the feelings are mutual because all he ever does is talk about you, actually. <laughs> Rex this, Rex that. It's kind of like getting the moon or something. I really don't care. Let's see if he needs my help. Gigi, how's, how's the new job going? How was work today? Fine. Great. Everyone's been really great. Yeah, they're all being really friendly. Marco, already tried that, remember? I did get to see Star and almost got caught. No, listen. Star's dad won't be home tonight. There's this fundraiser over at the Love Center that's sponsored by The Sun. 
Mr. and Mrs. Manning have to go, right, Lenny? Yeah, but the guards, they'll still be there. No, but I figured out the patrol in my tank soon. Hello? Hey, Cole. How was your session? It's fine. Wonderful. Uh, listen, I need to talk to you. Could you come down to the diner now? Now's not a good time. Too bad. Uh, can we talk tomorrow? I'm sorry, Cole. I'm playing the guardian card here. It's really important. All right, fine, fine. I'll, I'll meet you there. I gotta go. Uh, have to be north then. Good. We'll be here. All right. So great of you to do this. I just hope it works. Hey, listen, Langston. Promise me you'll be really careful, okay? Yeah, I promise. This plan won't work without you, but I'd never forgive myself if Todd found out if something happened to you. Well, you know that I would actually never hurt one of my kids. So... He had coal. Because of what he did to you. All he did was love me, but you obviously don't know what love is or else you wouldn't be hurting me. Like okay, this. okay, Sarah. We know you're upset. But you also know that your father has never hit Sam and you lied to a police officer. It's what my father would do. Star. But you know what? I'm not like you. So I ended up telling them the truth. Oh, thank God. Poor Mrs. McBean. She was the last person that I wanted to hurt. Sorry. Okay, Uta Todd. I know that you want to protect her, and so do I, but I don't think this is this is a good way of doing it. I could have kept them apart if I'd gotten the penthouse back. Are we back to that? Everywhere turn that son of a bitch Ramsey's in my face. I'm not gonna sit around and take it anymore. You know that new Todd, that new and improved Todd that never makes waves? He's history. I think he's been history a long time. Not happy about that, eh? If we're gonna make this marriage work, I don't want that old Todd back. How the hell were you supposed to protect him? Now, look, your mother called me that day, and she told me that he just he just ran out in the middle of the street in front of that truck. Yeah, and she just never told you why. She said you boys were just playing in the front yard. Yeah. We were in the yard. We were in the yard to get away from him. Because he was inside screaming at mom. And Jimmy begged me to make it stop. But I couldn't. I didn't know what to do. So I, I just hung on to him and I talked to him about baseball. <laughs> baseball. Or anything I could to drown out the yelling. And then the doors swung open and there he was, screaming at us, at me and Jimmy. The laws! We knew we were getting hit. And I could take it. I was fine. But I looked at him and, he, and I could tell it was too much. He could not go back in that house. He was terrifying. So I hung on to him. I hung on to him, Dad. But I couldn't, and he just... He ran into the street and... Oh, my God. Uh... Yeah. I should hung on to him. Wait. Sarah, you were nine years old. I was his big brother! I should have protected him! I was your father. I should have protected you both. Okay, so what's going on? I just got a call from Todd tonight. About me? You didn't try and see Star tonight, did you? At, at McBain's? No, why? Did somebody say I did? Well, Todd, as you well know, is paranoid and dangerous. So I think for your safety as well as for stars, you should continue to steer clear. I understand. Thank you. Thank you very much.
Uh, Cole, I'd like to talk to you for a minute because Nora tells me that you're interested in engineering. Yeah, maybe. I think... I, 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 I'm sorry, yes, I would, yes. Okay, that's a yes. Uh, well, at DE, we have an internship program. Uh, and we, it could be turned into a work-study thing which pays a bit more than minimum wage throughout the summer. Now, if you're interested in that kind of thing, tomorrow morning, just apply at Human Resources. Yeah, that'd be great. Thanks. Yeah. Is that it? But, uh, yes, that's it. For now. Yes, you can go back to doing whatever it was that you were doing. And it's going to get your coffee. I won't. Bye. Good night. You don't have an internship at the E, do you? I just thought Cole could use something to think about other than Star. God bless you. I'm the one who failed. I didn't bring this up to hurt you. You know, when you bring a kid into this world, and, and believe me, you and Jimmy are about the only good thing that I ever did in my life. And I look back and I don't understand how I could have possibly given up so much. I hurt so many people and I know that I'm going to spend the rest of my life just trying to make it up to you. Really, if I ever could. Well, I guess we're going to have to figure out how to make sure that time isn't spent sharing a jail cell. Well, hey, no, come on, that's different. No, you, you're not out to hurt these people. I know that. You were just looking for something to be a part of, a family, which God knows we never had. Yeah, but the look at it about it. No, no, look at it. Don't look back. It's time for us to look forward. Vicky, uh, weren't you, uh, weren't you on your way to go see Vicky? Uh, yeah. Yeah. She's probably getting on then. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Jerry. Thank you. Be good to yourself, son. Yeah. What about your mother? Adriana? I just realized that I didn't tell my mother the wedding date and before Rex tells the whole world and I don't hear the end of it. You know what, can we look at those samples tomorrow before I leave? Sure. But in the meanwhile, you better get Rex back here and spend all the time you can with him before you have to go to Paris. And stop thinking about Gigi. You're right. Gigi is the last thing that I need to worry about. Yes. Thank you for everything. Uh, call me if you need anything. I will. Okay. And I'll see you tomorrow. Yes. I love you. I love you too. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. I have to take this. Hello? Mom! I know you were just here, but I'm really desperate to get some wedding stuff settled. So, do you even come back? Rex is out, so it'll be just the two of us. I'll be right there. Thanks. That was my daughter. Wedding emergency. I'm afraid I'm going to have to leave you, Mayor. And my tepid coffee. I will be in touch about those outstanding issues. Oh my! <laughs> you two just blend in so well. I hardly noticed you. Hey, where's Marco? I uh, said he'd be right back. Alright, I checked out the grounds at Lawn, whatever it's called, one more time. 
and there's like this, I don't know, three minute window where no one's patrolling near the doors from the terrace to the living room. Yeah, but those are always locked. Which is why I'm gonna have to make sure they're unlocked tonight. And like Langston says, I mean, Star's grandma's at some cooking class tonight, right? Right, and Jordan just called me to let you know she's gonna be at Adriana's making wedding plans, so that should take half the night. You two should be able to have some good quality time alone. Okay, what about you? Oh, I'm gonna drop by later to see Langston. Well, really to see Langston, but also just to create a distraction so you can get out of there when you're done. I hope Star wants to see me after all this. She will. Be careful. Yeah, you too, both of you. I can't believe I'm going to see Star tonight. Yeah. Hey, it's not always going to be like this. I better not be. If you don't, uh, I'm going to make sure he goes to prison. And then you'll never see him again, ever. You know, Todd, when we decided that we were going to make this a like, real marriage, it was because you showed me that things could be different. Now, it's the real Todd or the old Todd Anything is coming... Anything I do, I do for you and the kids. You know that. I know that. But I just wish that you would let me in on your plans before you do them rather than after. Okay? Come on. Let's go. Oh, God. Do we have to do this? Can we just write these people a check? <laughs> no, we can't. The sun is sponsoring it. That would be you and that would be me. So come on. Let's bring Star. Oh, that's a great idea. We'll have her publicly berate you in front of all your employees, maybe half of the town. That's super. Mm. I don't know why she's fighting me so hard on this. Because she loves Cole. And you remember what it was like when you had your first love, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. from Star and Sean already took myself. You know, if you're a true friend of Star, you'd help her forget Cole. Happy? All right, I'm going up to change. Okay. Look, um, when I said that I wanted to be your foster parent, Langston, I was hoping that would bring you into a very happy home. It's fine. Really. And I have to go do homework, so um, have a good time tonight. Okay. Soon, don't you? Not soon enough for me. <laughs> Hi there. Um, can I get anything to drink? Actually, would you happen to have champagne here? I'd love to make a toast to my friend's wedding. Mm. They just set a date. I'll see what they've got. Congratulations. Thank you. But you know, when you Hi. told me you were all tied up, this is not what I had pictured. Oh, I'll bet it's not. <laughs> Forgive the gear. <laughs> you know, so you're doing exactly what you were doing the first day I met you. Brings back some nice memories. For me too. I'm actually just doing this to help out with Carlotta. She's a friend of mine. She owns the diner. But I've got a few minutes to sit with you. Come on. Oh, you want something? No, here's something to you. Okay? You okay? Oh, yeah, it's just a long day. Oh, the interview? No, that was fine. That was short. I can't complain. Look, you, you're on your second shift already. This is fun. A lot of fun. And as you said, it brings back great memories of a really happy time in my life. 
And it was the time, thank God, we didn't say goodbye to him. We said goodbye to Paris. I was just opening the doors because it was so nice out. Yeah. I bet the guards appreciate the nicer weather to work in. I bet they do, too. This is actually one of my favorite times of the year. Stars, too. If she ever gets to go out and enjoy it. Okay. Um, Langston, make sure you lock that door before you head upstairs. Yeah, sure. Have a good time. Thank you. Why don't you uh, have a seat and look at those pages I bookmarked while I make you some more tea? Oh, okay. Um. <clears throat> oh, by the way, did you have a chance to get any lemons? No, not yet. Uh. Oh. But I... Are these, um... Mother of the bride dresses? Yes, they are. Um, how do I already have a dress in mind? I'm sure you do. Mm -hmm. I do miss Paris. Do you ever wish that you were back there? Oh, no way, no. Oh, my son is here. You're here. Everything that I need is here. Okay, back to work. Yes, well, it was nice to get away for a few minutes. For the most part? Yes, for the most part. Hi. Hi. Sorry to track you down here. I just I couldn't get you on your cell, so. Oh, now what's wrong? Nothing. Uh, I just wanted to let you know the agreement with Calto Industries came through. Good news for a change. Excellent work, Jared. Thank you. Are you okay, Jared? Sure. Yeah. Uh, well, I can see that you guys are on your way up, but can I run one quick thing past you real quick? Uh, of course. You know what? I have to... I'll go wait in the car. I gotta get a hold of Matthew and make sure that he's doing homework. Not video games, but whatever. I'll be there in a minute. Okay. Have a booth. Jared. Three minutes, Brad. No champagne, so I brought you some celebratory chocolate cake. No, thank you. I'll eat it. I'm really happy for you, Rex. Thanks. Actually, that reminds me, Adriana put me in charge of betting the guest list. Did you want to add Gigi? Uh, yeah, uh, she's... Isn't she on it already? You don't have to. Oh, come on, Gigi. Everybody loves a wedding. Mm hmm Maybe you'll even catch the bouquet. Oh, you should bring a date. Almost put your cannons on that list, right? Are you, are you inviting Jared? Moonlighting? Speak of the devil. Aren't we keeping you busy enough to be E? Sure are. What? Mm, nothing. Coffee? No. Thank you. This, uh, this soup is expensive. <laughs> I'm usually pretty good with coffee. And um, if you'd like, I could bring it to you every day with cream and sugar. I am your secretary after all. <laughs> Even I got a customer. Yeah, how's your problem? What's yours? Coffee with cream and sugar. I didn't ask for it. She offered. No, I heard. And we both know why. You're taking advantage of your position to string along a woman who needs a job because she's got a kid to support. You want to start to make some sense? First, you blackmail Jessica, then Natty into giving you a job, then you break my sister's heart, then when it turns out you're magically related to both of them, you've moved on to Gigi. You get off jerking women around? I would never hurt a woman. Really? I hear that's all you do. Oh my God. <clears throat> Gigi needs someone she can count on. Someone who won't let her down. Oh, like you did. Someone who can be a good dad to Shane, who won't let him down. We're not dating, okay? I've seen plenty of guys like you in my work. A user. <laughs> it starts here and then it goes straight downhill. First, 
you fly out with a woman like hell. Then you get her to fall in love with you. Then you turn on her. Woo! You feel angry and, 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 and all that attention turns to hostility until finally you're, 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 you're beating her. You're hurting her. You're doing God. She sent me to Paris. Paris, did you say? Oh, no, sweetheart. Uh-uh. No way these dresses could be French. They're far too matronly. Actually, I think they're perfect, but no worries. Because you won't be wearing one. What do you mean? Is that my PDA? Yes. Adriana? Don't! You get righteous with me, you selfish bitch. I think the guard was not. No, 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 wait. Not yet. Good afternoon. No, stop. That guard was early. Girls aren't expecting that. The doors might not even be locked. Then what am I supposed to do? Uh, wait for the guard to make one more move around the grounds. Uh, I'm got away. I'm doing this now. Cool. Okay, thank you. It's me. Look, listen, I kind of want to be alone right now. You understand, right? You're not going to be alone. Cole's coming. You're going to see him tonight. Stay tuned for scenes from the next One Life to Live. On the next One Life to Live. You were the one who sent me to Paris, weren't you? It was one kiss, no big deal. Until he made it one, why? Oh, no. Watch weekdays on ABC, weeknights on Soapnet.